In this problem, we have a piecewise function, and we have to find three different limits. Let's go ahead and work through each one. So first, we'll find the limit of big F of x as x approaches 1 from the left. So because we're approaching 1 from the left, so here's a little picture. Here's 1, and then here's x, because it's approaching from the left. So that means that x is actually less than 1. So we're going to use the top piece here, because x is less than 1. So this is equal to the limit as x approaches 1 from the left. And now we simply replace f of x with the top piece 2x plus 1. And to evaluate this limit, the rule is generally if you can take the number and plug it in and you get an answer, it's an okay thing to do. If you don't get an answer, you should try something else. So here we can just plug in the 1. So now we'll drop the limit sign. So this is 2 times 1 plus 1. This will be 2 plus 1, which is equal to 3. Okay, let's find the other one. So now we're going to find the limit as x approaches 1 from the right. So we have the limit as x approaches 1 from the right of big F of x. So because we're approaching from the right, the picture would look something like this. Here's 1, and here is x. And we are approaching from the right. So that means that x is bigger than 1. So we're going to use this piece here, x. So we'll come back here and write down the limit sign again. Remember, we always have to write the limit sign until we actually take the limit. So now, because x is bigger than 1, we use the bottom piece, so x. And again, now we're able to plug in the number for x. So we do that, we drop the limit sign. When you plug in 1, you just get 1. Boom. So the limit from the left is equal to 3. The limit from the right is equal to 1. Because these limits are different, the regular limit does not exist. If it was the case that these were the same number, then this would be the same answer. But because these results are different, we say that the limit does not exist. So just a quick recap. When you're trying to find this one, you're approaching from the left. So that means x is smaller than 1. So you use this piece here. So you basically replace your f of x with 2x plus 1. When you're finding this piece here, you're approaching from the right, so that means x is bigger than 1, so you use this condition here, and that tells you to use x. So you replace f of x with x. And then for this last piece, you just basically look at your answers. If the answers are the same, then the answer here is the same. If the answers are different, um, then you just put D and E. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there who is working on math. Good luck.